Hey, what's up, Scott Balkum here, and I'm with Kessler Crane today, and we are gonna walk through how to install your new Kessler Roll Axis, and maybe a few tips and considerations as well. So installing your new Kessler Roll Axis is pretty straightforward. The first thing you wanna do is remove all power from the, your unit. And when you get your roll axis, it's quite simple. It just replaces your HD support bracket, has a wire and a motor built in, and let's get started doing that. Now make sure you already have your HD support installed, and the first thing we're going to do is loosen the two thumb screws and remove the HD support bracket, set it down, grab the new roll axis, line it up into the two grips, tighten your thumb screws, Make sure it is aligned this way, and then take your RJ45 and plug it into any of the three ports. Next, we wanna rotate this 90 degrees, and then you wanna grab the original bracket that came with your Cine Shooter and put it right here on your roll axis. Tighten it up. It's basically ready to go. Let's mount that camera next. I like to use the Kessler Quick Receiver. Let's just install that right now. I'm gonna loosen this. And we're gonna install the Quick Receiver. Now, when you mount the Quick Receiver, normally you would mount it with the handle towards the rear of the camera. In this case, you need to mount it with the handle towards the front. And that's just to give it the clearance because you're gonna be working in very tight situations here and just screw from the bottom with the camera screws. And now that is ready to go. We can mount it back in. Loosen our quick receiver, and we're gonna add in our camera. This is the A7S III, and we need to line up our sensor plane. If you remember, on a camera, there should be a little marker that designates where the sensor line is. So we mount this up, and we need to line it up fore and aft and lock it into place. Now, we need to make sure that it's in line up and down, which we need to raise this. Once that's lined up, tighten it up. So another thing to consider is, depending on how your camera is configured, you might bump into the City Shooter itself with some of the pieces. And to alleviate this, the best thing to do would be to keep your camera rig as small and compact as possible. You could remove the Kessler Quick Receiver here, that would lower the camera down, and thusly we would need to raise the bracket up so that the sensor plane would be back in line and you would clear. If that's not possible because you're running a larger camera, you could run your City Shooter inverted and you would actually have that range of motion in inversion. A couple of things to consider, the cable management. The cable for the roll axis is long enough for you to be able to do the full tilt move here. I would Velcro it in just on the inside here, but don't go up the side of the wall. That would interfere with the tilt axis. You're gonna wanna leave this just kind of slack in the back, and that'll give you your full range of motion that you need. And then also, your camera, you should power it with a battery and a wireless, and keep that configuration really compact. That way you can do continuous rolls with it, and not have to worry about cables getting wound up in there. And it shows up as another axis on board, and you can program it internally. You can use the app, or you can use Chaos. Just Program your move and you're off and rolling. <laughs> it's pretty easy to install. And if you have any questions along the way, feel free to reach out to the great folks at Kessler at KesslerCrane.com. They're more than happy to help you along the way.